Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. And in today's episode, we're going to be modeling this object from this 2D drawing. Take a second to screenshot it and save it so you can follow along. Let's get started. Create a new component. Select the top view. Create a sketch on a visible plane. Select the center rectangle. Start directly in the center. Let's add dimensions. You can use a 2D drawing to follow along. Let's extrude this rectangle. Add dimensions. Create a sketch on this top face. Select the two point rectangle. Make sure it intersects the right side. Add some dimensions. Let's dimension the top from this edge here. Select the extrude command. We're going to extrude the profile we just created to create the slot. Select the mirror command. We're going to select features. Select the extrusion we just created. The mirror plane is going to be this plane here. Compute type can be set to adjust. Select the right view. Select the home key to bring it back in focus. Once again, select the right view. Let's make sure that our display settings are set to perspective with ortho faces to make sure this is flat facing us. Create a sketch on this right plane here. Let's create a construction line from this point here in the center. Add dimensions. Select the green check mark to end the line. Turn off construction. We're going to keep the line command. Drag it up. Left click, drag again to create an arc. And bring it down. Make sure you don't run into any constraints here because we're going to have to measure this. Want to make sure that this line is tangent with this arc. We're going to select the symmetry constraint. Select this line, this line, and the center point. We're going to dimension this line, to correction this point here to this point. We're going to add a radius to this arc here. And what we want to do is make this point coincident with this point here, which is the center arc. Now it's fully defined. Select extrude command. Select thin extrude. Select this line. Direction should be symmetric. Measurement's going to be whole length. Add some dimensions. want the thickness to be eight millimeters and we want the operation to be joined. Select the home key, select the front view, create a sketch on the visible plane. We're going to create the cutout. Select the line command. Before we do that, hit the P for project. Make sure bodies are selected. Select the body and it's set. Now we have a point of reference. So we'll drag this line over. We're gonna give it some dimensions. It terminated automatically. So we're gonna take a line from this point and drag it all the way down to this point here. Now it's fully defined, and there are two ways to do this. 
you can create a mirror here and then perform the extrusion or you can perform the extrusion and create the mirror outside of the sketch for all intents and purposes we're going to create the mirror inside the sketch your choice create a center point line this construction and this is going to be our mirror line select the mirror command select the lines corresponding lines the mirror line is going to be the construction line and it gives us a mirror select the extrude command select the profiles we just created direction is going to be symmetric distance is going to be all this gives us that angle curve we're looking for select the right view once again select the home key to center focus it select the right view create a sketch on the visible plane I'm going to create a series of circles and add dimensions Select the concentric constraint, select this circle, select this outer edge. Fully defined. Select the extrude command. Select the profile we just created. Direction is going to be symmetric. Measurement is going to be whole length. I'm going to add dimensions operation is going to be set to join. Select the right view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. I'm going to be drawing a series of lines. Don't worry about constraints currently. We'll fix that later. Select the parallel constraint. You want this line to be parallel with this line. This line should be parallel with this line as well. We want to add dimensions from this line to this line. We want this line. We're going to add dimensions. What we can do is do the same thing here, or we can just basically take a construction line center up it would have been easier to do it that way but I'm just going to show you another way and what you can do is select symmetry select this line this line and it's set or you simply could have done a mirror as well more than one way to skin a cat I'm going to do something different so these lines down here I'm going to select modify break Select this line here, select this line there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this line, ignore the warnings, it's not important. Select this line here, select constraint, construction, excuse me. Select this line here and also select construction so they won't be chosen when we do the extrusion. So let's select your screw command, select the profile we just created. Direction is going to be symmetric. Measurement is going to be whole length. Operation should be set to join. And that's what you have. Select the fillet command. I'm going to add the 10 millimeter fillets here, at the bottom corner. Select the right view. Once again, bring back the home key if it doesn't center itself. Create a sketch on a visible plane. Use the line command. Start hitting the corner here. Drag it up, add a dimension, and bring it over. Select the extrude command, once again. 
direction be, should be symmetric. Measurement should be whole length. We're going to add dimensions. Next, we need to round these edges. Select the fillet command, full round fillet. Now let's back up. I made a mistake here. I need to make this a new body instead of join. So I'm going to go back and edit this feature, which is the extrusion. I want the operation set to new body, not join. Now I can fillet this edge here and make it a full round fillet. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. Select this edge. I want to make sure that I'm going to drag it closer to this edge because I want that edge to highlight. If you'll see the opposite edge is also blue and I know it's going to fill it this edge rounded correctly the way I want it. Because if I was to basically bring it up, I don't want it to round based on these two edges at the top and the bottom, but on the left and the right sides. And I'll demonstrate what I mean. It gave me the desired results. However, if I go again and try to select it, it did not give me the desired results because it selected the top and the bottom. So once again, bring it closer to the edge because I know it's going to select both edges on the sides, not the tops and the bottom. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to select the whole command. I'm going to drag to the center point. There are two holes, actually two points. I want to drag it closer to the top. So what I want to do now is add dimensions here. Distance is going to be set to all. And I want the bottom width 14 millimeters. Select the mirror command. I'm going to select bodies. Select this body here. Mirror plane going to be this plane here. Operation is also going to be set to new body. But if you look here, the hole doesn't go all the way through. Now to solve this, I'm going to go back to mirror and I'm going to select features instead. We already selected the mirror plane. Select the features. Hold the control key if you need to and you can select everything you need. Compute type should be set to adjust. And it's identical on both sides. Next, we need to combine it, so it'll be all one body. So that's combine command. Target body is gonna be the main frame. Tool bodies, it's gonna be these two objects here. We don't wanna keep the tools. And now it's one body. Last but not least, we need to create the holes. Create a sketch. Let's put it on this right face here. I'm going to create a circle, make it a construction circle starting in the center. Add a dimension. We want to also create a series of construction lines as a guide. We're going to create another line 45 degrees off of this line here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select 45 here. Let it drag out. Close it off, select the coincident constraint, make it coincident with the circle. And that's set. Select the whole command. Select this point here. The whole tap should be simple, tap type simple. Actually, the tap tap should be tapped. Thread offset should be full. It should be 20 millimeters in depth. 
and the size, I'm gonna make 10 millimeters. It's gonna be isometric profile. It's gonna be M10 by one. And it should be modeled. Before I do that, I'm gonna back up a second. I'm gonna select the entire object. Select fillet, we need to change this to a fillet, not full round fillet. Select the entire object. I'm gonna give the entire object a 0.5 fillet. I needed to do that before I created this, it would have gave me an error because these are not perfectly rounded edges because they're threads. Select the circular pattern command, select features, select the whole recreated. The axis is gonna be the circle. I want a quantity of four, operation set to adjust. And that completes this project. I hope you enjoyed this brief exercise. Stick around and I shall see you in the next video.